Look at all these service trucks. This is what I like to see. A company that has plenty of service trucks. We loaded up with this little 308 long stick rental machine to give a go. And I try, kind of test out Carolina Cat here. Well, we had a little bit of a situation with the thumb on that kitty cat not holding pressure yesterday, which worked out great because I had to haul big orange out here to this beautiful job site. Man, look at that. Adam's going to be out here working today, just bush hogging the flats of this field. I'm headed back up to where the cat is, and it's not a big issue. I think that a line pressure relief has uh, gone out on it. That's the nature of a rental machine, but you know what is not typical? I was talking to people from Cat, I think it was around like six o'clock last night. I haven't dealt with any rental companies around here that will answer the phone after five o'clock in the day. So that impresses me. That, that really thrills me and makes me feel good about purchasing a cat machine. We won't say which one yet because that's what us YouTubers do. We hang in suspense. So we may be getting a machine that's a little bigger, maybe a little smaller, but you guys stick around, consider subscribing to join us on this journey. I'm gonna get Big Orange unloaded of course, I'm gonna warm him up first. We got a little bit of a frost this morning. First frost of the year. So we'll get this unloaded and head up to the other job and let you guys see what we got going on. We have just arrived at our job. I'm getting that 308 warmed up. I had Adam fish all of these class two riprap rocks out of the creek last night so I could have some fresh ground to work with. That, my friends, is a hole. My plan is to go ahead and put some of the biggest rocks in the bottom to kind of make a wall right there. And then I'll push some dirt in to push that water out. And then we'll just start building this up. I think I'll start out with a good little time lapse just so you guys can see how this develops. For just a quick little commentary, what I'm doing is I'm starting to slope this bank out. And as the dirt goes down to the original stream bed, I'm placing rock farther and farther out, bridging and rebuilding that creek bottom. We've still got plenty of rock since we're putting it in here in a uh, structured fashion. Previously, the homeowner just had them dump it in out of the dump truck just to stop the erosion, which I don't blame them. They could have lost a lot more land if they hadn't done that, but we had to pull all the stone out and now we're redoing it. I'm gonna start repacking this dirt in, but I'm gonna put stone in to the soil before it's really, really hard and pack it in too. And that way it seats into that soil. I'm going to just kind of have to use my judgment when I want to put my fabric in. Obviously, before we start putting stone, I just want to get this bank built out pretty nicely.
Well, the glare from the sun is making it hard to get decent footage. Cause it's casting a shadow over that bank. So what I'm going to do for you guys is just leave you perched where you're at. Let y'all watch from my perspective for a little bit. Turn that beeper off. I'll end up unplugging that here in a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm not going to do fabric on this. This dirt is some good looking stuff. And I think they'll be able to get grass going on it. I think, maybe. I feel pretty confident about it. I'm gonna unplug that deeper here in a minute. I'd say I love the balance of this cat machine. Well, I'm not gonna put a lot of time into finding a beeper, so let's just do a little more time lapse and listen to some music. I wish that we had some good pretty clean stone to put down on this but this being dug out of the creek you can see the old blue creek clay we'll just have to come back and visit this job sometime so you guys can uh, see it after the rain washes all those rocks off my plan is to go ahead and start lining rock and building it up the creek bank as far as we can get it to I'll have to take that grading bucket off. And then once I get my rock placed back, I'm not gonna just push mud in on top of it. I'll actually load that mud out on my little dump truck and leave them with a nice clean project. I'm really torn between whether I really wanna put fabric down or not. I'm really struggling with whether I want to or not. I don't think it would hurt. Let me ponder a minute. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put some fabric down. But I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose so I can stuff that rock in. I think it'll turn out nice. Well, friends, we're 
I'm going to take a break from that little project. Adam's had a uh, equipment malfunction with the bush hog. So we're going to head over there and check it out. Let's see what Master Adam's into here. Murphy's Law. That's just Murphy's Law for you. Will it drive over here? What? Will it drive? Okay. So it appears though we're uh, living similar lives today. Well, I think we might have to rename it to Adam's Law. Yeah? Yeah. Well, could be worse. Good. We'll see what it's doing. One day I'll be able to do something without breaking everything. I'm sure of it. Well, let's see what it, what it do. Well, it looks normal so far. Yeah, that looks normal. That's not important. Okay, that's good. So, let's see. Oh, this is what's not bending? Yeah. The U-joint? Yeah. Well, considering our grease fitting's gone, I'd say we've probably just uh, got those little bearings too hot, and it's probably welded them all together. These things don't hold up too good without grease. Hold on to this and let me just say, get my hands on this here. Actually, see that right there? Yeah. It's gotten cammed over. So all we gotta do is take this bolt out so that shaft comes out. That shaft is what's hanging. See it? Yeah. So, actually, no, it ain't. But it has just got wallered so we might just not have a big enough hammer yet ah so let's i'm gonna borrow your gloves have so i don't it. get covered in grass you know grease no good no it's not well i guess in some cases it is actually you know what it is that holding this in place so instead of just beating it to death we'll just take that bolt out you dope. got your wrenches and set yep this is just as well we'll take that bolt out and go ahead and put a grade eight in it well, since we the ones they had. since we got that slip clutch on there it should be all right all right let's see get this sucker to go back on So here. There you go. A little bit of grease goes a long way. Yes, it do. All right, let's go and put gray dance back in this old bush hog as planned. Now, hopefully, these being one of the bolts, they're not going to give us too hard of a time getting in. Which they are. They're going to be the pain. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now we're going to use finesse. Very easy. Calm. In control. Why they would make this designed that way? I agree. I really don't. But and of course, I don't have my sledgehammer with me. Otherwise, this would go quite simply, for the most part. Some great mates don't give up easy. 
Oh, getting that not on. Well, I guess you can push it out. So that's gonna be fun, though. Got Adam fixed up. Let's go on to the next thing. Same day service. I like it. It's five o'clock. We can sling a little more rock before we leave. Man, I am thinking that I'm gonna really like Cat just off this initial experiences. Now, Mr. Gary Pounders is going to get me another load of this Class 2 Rip Wrap. So, let me get myself a little bit better perch. I'm going to get my blade down below me. So as I drop these rocks on that fabric, it's gonna just pull every bit of it down. But all this dirty rock, see, I've got some rock. Already down there in the creek. So what I told him I wanted to do is build this area down here up. Sorry, I'm not sitting perfectly level. But I didn't want to. I'm gonna tell you what, that long reach on this thing is nice. But I wanted to build up the creek bed to the level of the bottom of that pipe. Or at least close to it. Kind of right in here. Hopefully, keep this creek bank from eroding much more. Adam had to dig this stuff out of the creek bottom. It's my fault. I, I meant to tell him to just dig the rock out down to the water level. And uh, leave it. But there's that. The water eroded a deep hole at the outside of that pipe. So all I gotta do is get this rock to stay put. And if it's wobbling much at all, and that sucker's raging, it will wash it right out. Well, that grab wasn't too great, was it? I see I can't leave those rocks just kind of willy-nilly. This bank does slide off. See, I've got to fill this hole down here. What? Some dirty rock. I've got to reestablish this creek bottom because if you just put rock along this bottom here, it can slide off across the creek bank and then you lose all the rock that you got stacked. I can get a little more stable now. So this is class two rip wrap is what this is. It's just river sand and mud. Now I'm just going to continue this 
building that. At least the bottom edge for this nasty stuff. And then tomorrow we can use a cleaner stone to get it looking a little more pretty. Well, folks, it isn't very, very pretty yet. It's covered in creek clay, and I've still got to dress the bottom of the creek there once I get some more stone, and I can pick and choose different size stone to make it look the best. And of course, I hung my fabric waving at a car. That's what I get. Complacency, folks. I think it's gonna turn out nice, though, once we get it all finished out really liking this cat even though we had a little bit of an issue with the coupler that's just the nature you, you rent and the machines have wear on them but you know anytime i've called cats since we've started looking at using them i used to shy away from cat because i heard they were expensive and uh i just figured it was out of my budget but surprisingly they're not that much more than any of the other equipment rental companies but they are much more responsive when i call or leave a message it's usually with somebody's cell phone and they get back to me within 30 minutes i am thrilled and the fact that they got out here today same day that i had an issue to get it fixed gives me a lot of confidence in investing in a new machine which i'm super excited about it's going to really make a difference so you guys consider giving us a like and be sure to comment tell me what you guys think about that 308 we'll be running it tomorrow to finish this job out still have the yanmar excavator but this is the, the new machine will be our little flagship so shoot drop a comment and take a guess at which machine we are going to purchase we love you guys and we will see you tomorrow on the next video